Hey guys, we're gonna cook la in continuation here. Okay, this is our anchovies. This is our pivot that we cooked the other day. It's shredded, guys. And this is our anchovies mixed with little shrimp and some little silver fish. And 10 gloves of garlic. And then 3 packages of taro leaves here. That's a taro leaves because we don't have fresh in the area. Here in Washington, is don't have any fresh right now. Sometimes I can find them. And fish sauce. A coconut cream, uh, a package, and uh, this is how many ounces? 33 ounces, and it, 30, 30.8. And then a small can for the start, and then we'll put the cream after. And then Himalayan salt, and then garlic powder, then onion powder. That's it, really. And this is combination of herbs, guys. Basil, yeah, basil, thyme, lemon, zest. It's all together grounded here guys so that's gonna be a good addition and that's it really seafood lying we're gonna make okay so we're starting now for the start we're putting oh, i already put oil and uh, i have a virgin olive oil here let me put a little bit more because i want to start that in a way okay that's like a three and a half tablespoon and then this is a big salad master i'm making the uh, making with the wok so it's easier and now we're gonna put our garlic Just gonna that. I usually put a little bit of garlic powder while that's sauteing. Uh oh, this is brand new. Okay, that's a garlic. Okay, and then we're gonna bring the onion, the onion powder here. Oh, stop. There we go. Put any, uh, so we're gonna saute that. We just cook in medium then. I have a pan in my uh, above here. See a pan there because okay. we're gonna put a little bit of this. Just a little bit, we'll put some more later. What I do is I'm gonna put this and cook first anchovy and the shrimp just to saute just a little saute going on I hope my house is up oh, sorry oh god I just it's flying all over now there we go that's why I put oil guys because it's usually sucked in from this uh, little guys here little shrimp and a little anchovy Little tiny shrimp mix. So we're just gonna saute that. That's our flavoring. Then we're gonna put the pivot, the shredded one. It looks dark, isn't it? That's a pivot, guys. Now we're gonna cook them with our coconut milk. It's a quick way. Salad master is easy quick cook guys. <laughs> now we're gonna do that. And we're gonna bring that to a boil. My salt guys is uh, a teaspoon and a half because that's a teaspoon full of a chicken bouillon. That's my flavoring guys. I don't need to put a lot of salt and already tasty also you can put beef if you want because i didn't put any meat except the anchovies and perret fish guys the one i cook shredded them and just because it's really good with the lime very very, very good uh, combination with that okay guys it's not boiling yet but oh smells so good already fishy not too fishy but I don't have to put fish sauce. Oh, you have to if you want. Because I already have fish flavoring. Ah. Guys, we're gonna add our cream. But halfway only for now until it boils. Or you can put it all if you want. But I'm just gonna put it all. That's 32. 
because I have a lot of uh, three packets of leaves, um, taro leaves. This is a, uh, sorry, I mark it. I smack it to get all the coconut cream. That's a coconut cream, guys. That means like uh, thickness to it. See, it's like because it's in the cold area in the garage. So that's why they have this. Buo buo, ayan no? That's a cream. So we're gonna bring that to a boil before we're gonna put our taro leaves. Okay? I'm gonna add just a little bit of this salt, a chili salt. So it's a little bit spicy. Just a half a teaspoon or so. There. To get all that, because you don't want it over salted, you know? It's hard to, uh, when it's salted, salty, very salty, if then it's hard for you to unsalt it. Then you have to make something with it. At least if it's not salty, you can add on later. That's the secret of it, guys. So, okay. Now we're gonna bring that to a boil and then wait a lot our um, lime. I mean, uh, taro leaves. Okay, guys, starting to bubble there a little bit. Not, not yet. That one is color like that because we put herbs, okay? And this is the lime. This is the three package. Just a lot. Okay, and then just in case we have to put more coconut milk, so I have another 33.8 ounces of uh, coconut milk and another can of 13.5 uh, fluid ounces, just in case, guys. Starting to boil. Just starting. So what we need to bring that to a boil. Then we'll put our, our dehydrated. Uh, taro leaves. It's almost. Okay, guys, and then see you then. Okay, guys, it's boiling now. Our um, our ingredients here, our sauce, our coconut milk. Okay, now that is boiling, so we can put our dehydrated. This one, guys. See, dehydrated leaves. Putting uh, the 33 ounces of um, coconut milk, guys. I just sort of like, but I forgot. I thought I was recording, but it's not. <laughs> but it's okay. See, like that, you just need that to. I'm just gonna fold it, not stir it. So we don't wanna stir that. It's already pre soaked now. So what we have to do is let it cook for a while until the oil come out from the coconut milk. That's that's usually my line, guys. You could, you don't have to. Me, I usually wait until it's oily because the line is so good and it lasts really long time. Because if you wanna just cook that for less than that, then you could, as long as the leaves is already not, you know, as, as I mean cooked, then you can just eat it the way it is. Some people, it's like this, you can eat it. But me, I wanna make my coconut milk come out the oil because I noticed that it lasts really long time you're lying you could cook that the way that we do a traditional way just enough to soften and cook the taro leaves but this way I do that I usually put hole in the middle there like that so as you can see so I can tell how many coconut milk still there if I have to add I have another can there so, I just sort of, see, look at the anchovy right here. Look at our sardines. That's my pilot. See, with the fish and everything, see. Because I try them and, uh, and then saute it here. So, we're going to put the lid for another 10 minutes. And then, we're going to look at it again. 5 to 10 minutes, usually. But, I'll just let that 
we call that risiko, pinarisiko talaga. So that is not itchy because there's a tendency if you stare and stare this, it's become itchy. You know, the taro leaves. So just leave it the way it is and let it cook and steam inside. So with our salad master, it's possible. So it's very good for work because this thing letting us know when it beep beep, okay? When it move that beefo ball there, okay? Okay guys, after 10 minutes, now we'll open it. Look at our line. Some people, this one is already done. But me, see, look at that. Maamoy muna talaga. I, you, you can smell the lying. That means it's done. But me, I'm going to really cook this. Because my lying is different than lying. I have my own way of making lying. But I don't stare and stir them, guys. Because there's tendency is you're gonna mush it. See, look at that. that. It's a little bit... I'm gonna get some uh, different... Uh... Here we go. So that I can do this. See, the lying. Narisiko na siya. But some people, they eat it like this. That would be the laing already. And you can see the little fish, the silver fish and the shrimp there. The dried one. Now, this time, you can stir them now. Because they are already soaked in and cooked. See, some people, they just eat it like that. But me, I'm just gonna fold that, guys. I only fold. Not stir and stir, you know. Because the tendency is, you're gonna mush them because it's soft now. We don't wanna mush our gabi leaves. So I do is fold. When you stare is you fold. Like that. Some people this is good enough. But me, I'm usually doing it to extreme. <laughs> when I do my when, until the oil come out. Sometimes even sometimes like this, you can even add more uh, coconut milk so that it really cook and it really bring more flavor to your food coconut milk is the best on this guy's promise so we have uh, it's a little fish right there look at that little fish and our sardines that is the I shredded the Spanish sardines that I made I made a lot of them guys here I'll show you I made some of the sardines here you may put it here in the, here in top I'll put it in top here so you can see my sardines like that one see that's the big scud, you know, tulingan, baby tulingan, ayan oh, right? And then the small one that I made last time, put it in top, there we go, oh, see that? I made tulingan, when I need to make laeng, I don't have to buy because I made it myself. So it's sort of like affordable when you make it, I have two big ones of this guys, this is the big mason jar, the giant one of course. Because I made a lot, like more than a dozen fish, so... So that, see guys, mag-uwili-uwili na yan. The oil will come out, then your laing would be done. But I don't stare and stare them. You can stare them once before I put... I don't want to put the lid now because I don't want it to get steam anymore. I'm just going to want it to oil out. So we don't have to put our lid. Because Salad Master is going to steam this inside and it's going to get softened. But we don't want that to get more softened and very soft. We just want that to resiko. How do you call that recycle? Like saute, like uh, extra saute. I guess when you call that. See, makikita mo pa yung mga leaves. That means it's good. It's good to eat now and ready. But me, I'm going to to do more extra mile for my life. So I'm just sort of like that. Then I'm usually I get the coconut milk there from the middle and then spread it around. See, you can tell that it's already thicken because I used to have a lot of coconut milk there that's like only 10 minutes the salad master is quick and easy so you can even taste it but I don't want to taste it yet because I know my lying I've been making them for a long time I don't know how many years because when I see uh, taro leaves in the store I usually buy extra I still have two extra out there but you know see that's the lying guys that's a lot of lying I'm going to can them I'm gonna can them like my uh, and then put it in the fridge you can, I don't know, you can maybe can and not put in the fridge, but me, I usually put it in the fridge, guys. So it lasts really long time, like three to six months. Because you put it in a mason jar. I put it in a mason jar like this. this is, we call that mason jar, guys. So we put that, that's a large size, okay? So I usually do that. And then, uh, oh, let me put aside this. 
put away my sardines. Oh, there we go. Drop the sardine. Good thing it didn't broke. <laughs> I'm clumsy. There we go. See the oil almost come out. Now look at that, guys. From the sauce of the lime, of course, is green because that's the way it is. Because this is farro leaves, gabi leaves. We call that in Bisaya. I'm Bisaya. Gabi mampod ang tawa. Bisaya mangyud ko ka ayo. Sa pila na katuig diri, bisaya man yung dako. See? There you go, guys. Sorry, if you guys don't know bisaya, then I was speaking bisaya at that time. See, just like that, and just let it cook. Let, bo let it boil out our coconut milk. Now we can, it's safe to stir them now, you know, but not too much. I usually, so that it mix all together. Because my laing is different. The way I cook laing for many years. Risiko, risiko is the key. For making your very yummy laing. The, only, the thing is, sometimes it get really mushy. But it's still really yummy guys. With your rice, you need to eat it with the rice. Or or mango. I Before I, I eat it with the unripe mango. The green mango. Oh my god. So good the laing with it. See, I put the hole there so that I can tell how much I have here, how much uh, coconut milk. Look at that lying. See it yummy? Uh, Filipino people can relate on this. <laughs> Some people maybe never had it yet, but you can try and please do try it. I don't know how to compare it, uh, what it tastes like, but it's like not too fishy because I did not put a lot of seafood stuff. It's just uh, regular anchovies and uh, Spanish sardines that I made and then uh, ah, smell laing na talaga you can really also one of the uh, so that you can tell that it's done is the smell guys you can really smell the laing you know they have a different smell when it's done so that means really good yummy taste <laughs> not just the taste but the smell so that's the way the laing is because of the coconut milk so yeah See, this one is pretty done, but me, I go extra mile for it, guys, until the oil come out. So, I just let it simmer to medium, medium low. This time, I'm doing medium low now because I want it to saute it more. And there now, because it's not boiling anymore. It's not boiling point anymore because I don't have much coconut milk there anymore. Sort of. See, like that, guys? Super yummy like. See, I do full, not like stir and stir and stir, just full, full, <laughs> full, so that you don't mush it as much. I know it's mushy because already, but it's not as much. But I can see the lying now, guys. Look at that. And with that herbs that I put, oh, it smells so good right now. I promise. It looks like, you know, not appetizing, but oh god, this is delicacy back home panlasang Pinoy talaga to guys. Ito talaga ang panlasang Pinoy ng our taste bud. This is the way we want it, the way we make it for many years from our great grandma to grandmas. So, this is how we learn to cook our lying guys. This is how I learned because my uh, grandma, my late grandma, I, I used to watch her, watch her make uh, ginataan, we call this in the Philippines, ginataan sa Bisaya, uh, Ba tawag sa Bisaya niyan. <laughs> Basta kay ginataan. Ginataan na gabi leaves. But we never call it laing. But in Tagalog, they call it laing. But in Bisaya, we just sort of like ginataan. Ginataan na gabi leaves lang. That's it. But we never call it laing. But that's how I learned that they call it laing. Okay? Then I call it laing now. So here it is. Our laing. This is how I want it, guys. When the oil come up, as you can see. That is my lying, guys. Different way of lying. See all that coconut milk turned into an oil now? Look. See that, guys? So that is my lying. Really cooked and it's really yummy. But it's not mushy. Like, uh, you know, I still have the leaves. But that's but the tendency, you're going to mush it if you keep stirring them. So don't. So now I have a plate here, my favorite sunflower plate. So we're going to put that right there. See that? You can see that, Willie? of the lying guys that's 
how I recycle my laeng with the anchovy. Ayan. Okay, guys, let me plate that and we'll see you guys then. Okay, guys, let's get um, herbs for our laeng. Okay, because this is a nice herbs here. They already grown and seed themselves. We just gonna get some here. See guys like that? I don't wanna get a lot. They reseed guys and then we have a lot of seedlings later. Okay, that's my right here in my backyard guys. Okay. Now our lying is done guys. Let's eat. Let's dig in. Isn't it beautiful lying? It's like you can make it here. So you can still see the ban the taro leaves. Even if it turn like this. Look at the oil. This is how I make my lain guys. See? The oil come out. Sorry, it's already off the stove, but the salad master I still have heat. So that's how I make my salad mas my sal my uh, taro leaves. My lain guys. See if you see that? That means it's totally done and you wouldn't get worried about itchy or truth or anything like that because the tendency of the taro leaves, right? So this is how Oh god, I'm so hungry smelling all this, guys. It's so good with the rice, so I'm gonna eat that with the rice, okay? And I have some uh, fish in there, okay? Okay, bye! I hope you enjoy my vlog today, and I hope you learn something from it. Uh, because some people don't know how to make laing, and this way is easy and simple to follow. So just put ingredients, whatever you want, and you know, just the way you like it. So, okay, you can add on. I add a little bit of salt because I needed a little salt. Or you can add a uh, fish sauce if you want. If you want it more fishy. So then you go for it. And you can dry fish. You can put dry fish or anything like that too. So okay guys. And I'm gonna enjoy my laing. My kids don't eat this. But when they were little, they do love it. But now they've grown up and changed. Okay. Bye for now. And thank you very much. And this is Happy Meal Blog TV. And I really appreciate you guys. Thanks. water on the lid of the mason jar I already steamed them all up guys so they are all ready and uh, ready to put in our lying right here to can them guys so this is how you preserve and also very clean you have to soak them in the water to suck in the air out from our so it's nice but I want it to be in the fridge, this one, guys, okay? Now, we're gonna prepare some paper towels to dry them. Let me put my camera on the holder, guys, okay? Okay, okay, guys, let's start. Oopsie. I'll put one more here. Boiling water, and then, so we have paper towel there to dry our lid. Now, we're gonna put one at a time. Okay guys, so there. It's gonna be tough, but <clears throat> I know how to put them. You can even make uh, money of it, guys. Uh, I have ordered sometimes on this, but this time I just make it myself. And then sometimes you can give it to your friend. You don't have to put full. Sorry, I'm gonna get some more out. See, you have to clean the side. So we have paper towel, easy to throw away. See that, guys? Tap, tap. Just do that. See that, guys? I usually wipe the inside so that it's clean. Like that. See that? See that? It's clean. So it's hot, so be careful. Now, we're gonna get the lid from our, what we put here. See that, guys? It's hot. So be careful. Now, wipe that. Wipe that off. This is how cunning. I do cunning, guys. Do like that. It's hot. So, and also the food will end up sucking that air in, air out. Then the, it's hard to open later, but uh, I still have uh, air inside. So, you have to tap. You have to uh, get the air out. There you go. Just need to do that. I have this uh, chopstick. Oh, sorry. Flying again. Tap, tap, tap. See, no air. If you see air, then poke it. <laughs> there you go. If you have air, pack it here. So, 
So it's sucked in because it's hot. So the air come out from the mason jar. So right now, see, it's like that. See, you can see. That means they still have air, but because it's hot inside, it'll tight that up while we're waiting. It cooling down, it tight up the lid. That's what's good about the mason jar. So we're gonna put another one here. We don't want to put too much this time. I suggest you need to have paper towel on the side so easy to clean. So you push that. Push it, you know. You can reuse the other one if it's still up some clean side. Do like that, guys. Just clean. Uh -oh, I spilled something. Okay. Just like that. Okay, now we're gonna get another lid from here, from our hot, uh, hot lid. <laughs> so do not put your hand in there. I think I can make like six, a half a dozen can, a half a dozen jar. There we go. It's still hot, but I have gloves, so it's good. So like that. See, it's still. Huh? But later I'll show you guys how that suck in. Huh? very hot but it's bearable so it's good okay that's two now more not too much jar there so this one is the number six this would be my uh, the one I am going to eat the last one see three of that packets it make only a uh, five jar so you still make money if you want to make money of it lying because we preserve that that's why we cook that to the so we go extra mile to do that. Okay. I don't put onion or anything like that. Only powder onion I put. I don't want to waste all this. So I always get to the end. Okay, it's messy right now. But we're going to wipe that. This is the number six, guys. Six of the jar. Okay. There we go. The last one. See, gonna wipe that dry that lid so it's hot and it's gonna lock in in there. There we go, guys. So I'll show you. We're gonna let it sit there. Sometimes you can do like this over so the suction the air. Okay, that's one of my secrets. But this one, look at this, guys. Before it, see, look at that guy. I push it, no more air. See that? Not like this one here compared to the new one I just made. See. See, that still got air. This one, no more air. See, as you can see. But we're gonna put it like that to tighten the lid. Here we go. The secret of that, guys. I just show you my secret. <laughs> so we're gonna clean all this stuff here. Just a second, guys. I'm cleaning my area. So it's all good. Okay. Gonna lift that like that. So the air out. So we need um, six jars of the three uh, leaf leaves of taro roots package. Okay. See guys, and look at my sardines there too, right? Look at that. How is that nice, right? 
If you like more of my vlog today, please do like, share, and subscribe. And thank you, and I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you, guys. Here is my laing in the jar. Isn't it awesome to have laing anytime you want it? You put it in the fridge. This laing is gonna last three to six months, guys. I promise. Even a year if you don't open them because the air type, there's no air anymore. See, guys, that one. No more. No more air. See, this one, the new one. Look. This one. See, no more. That means the air out already. With the other one too. See, you can tell. Some are still. See, that one, no air anymore. See? This one still have air. So, it's gonna be the. It, when it cool down, it's still hot. When it cool down, the air will be tight in there. Air tight. So, it's gonna be awesome and last longer. That's how you make your laing last longer, guys. Okay? You can put it in the fridge, though. Need to be in the fridge, not out. I never try yet if it is like outside your pantry or inside your pantry, I mean, or outside the fridge. But usually I put them in the refrigerator, guys. Not freezer, but refrigerator only, okay? So that's how your laing will last longer and you can have it anytime. Because we don't have, sometimes they don't even have dry uh, taro leaves here. Uh, it depends if they carry, sometimes they don't. So when I see some, I'll buy a lot and I do canning. So I call that canning. Next, I'm gonna can some mushroom, guys, because I have a box of mushroom. A dozen in the box of package of big mushroom. Okay, so we're gonna do that next. Okay, and see you on that one. Bye. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Thank you.